So the election's coming up. Um, I'm sorry I'm off-centered, but you'll get clarified if I don't do this. I don't want you to squint your eyes while you're watching the camera. Uh, the election's coming coming up. People are making a big deal out of the election, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, and here's why. And I made a video about this when I first started my channel called Trump the D. And uh, I like the more thing in the past two years since I made that video, I believe it even more going back and looking. So in 2015, the DNC was ready to do whatever it took to win the election. So in order to win an election, you don't have to. Um, win the most votes. You just have to get more votes than anybody else, and not in this, and get more electoral votes than anybody else. At, at that, so how could how could the Democratic Party, how could any party, guarantee a win? They have two people from their party running, but one of them runs under a different party. Donald Trump, for example, one day he woke up after being a 69-year-old lifelong Democrat, giving multi millions of dollars to the Democratic Party. He woke up one morning and stretches and says, oh, I'm an independent. Oh my God, I'm an independent. Not only am I an independent, I'm pro-gun, I'm pro-Uzi, I'm pro-machine gun. He, he was willing to say whatever it took to get your votes. If you don't believe me, go back and watch his bullshit campaign run. And you can tell, he was just saying whatever it took to get the right votes. What they probably didn't, didn't think of and what happened and it only helped their cause was the Republican Party picking him up. They drafted him. He didn't go to wake up and sound a Republican. He was drafted to the Republican Party. He even signed a contract with him. Since then, first two years when he could have kept every single campaign promise he made, he did nothing. The only two, and correct me if I'm wrong, the only two campaign promises that I know of that he kept was that shitty-ass tax bill that helped you, may have not helped me, definitely didn't help that guy, and deregulation in industries all of which Trump or his family could be tied to that also came with a five billion dollar annual subsidy now is Trump a conservative nope he's not and I can back that up 100,000 uh, percent man I should let him hit me it's a freaking FedEx truck semi that I should let him plow my ass uh, here I am driving his, his ass is the one always hit me he can come over on me anyway no, he's not a conservative. How? What does conservative mean? It means conservative ones who conserve the Constitution or conserving the Constitution. Or conservers of the Constitution. He signed Fix Nicks. The bump stock ban. Go read the bump stock ban. It's 157 pages of total trash that bans rate of fire increase in devices, which in the end will mean all semi automatic firearms. Don't believe me? Wait. Then he called for a national red flag law. Then he supported the Democrats' Mass Act. Then he copied and pasted the Mass Act into an executive order and signed it, bribing states to enact red flag laws and paying them a million dollars to do so. Then he supported the Taps Act on the, on the low, on the low key. But he still supported it. Then he openly turned his back on the Hearing Protection Act said he don't like silencers. Then, he told this flip Mike McConnell off about national about uh, national reciprocity. Turn his back on that. So where is that conserving the Constitution? Executive orders. Federal agents in, in inside of state borders arresting people. Going, going for uh, um, what national, or red flag laws in every state. That's not a conservative. The Russian hoax. Did anybody believe for one second that shit was going anywhere? I didn't. Everybody knew it wasn't going anywhere. That was the intent. Same thing with the impeachment. Everybody knew that impeachment wasn't going anywhere once it got to the Senate. But everybody bought into the show. The Democrats act like they're at Trump, at Trump's throat. Trump acts like he hates them. And they do what they want. And I can't even prove it further. Trump, the conservative that hates socialists, signed a $6.2 trillion socialist bill. And that's what that was. And he's getting ready to sign another one. Probably just as big. 
It'll be interesting to see where the money goes to this time. Because I bet it won't go to small business. I bet it won't go to the people. I don't think it should go anywhere. Feds don't have that money. That's my grandkids' taxes they're counting on. Not that I hope my grandkids pay taxes. I hope they don't pay shit. Even if it is law. Law don't mean anything anymore. Our elections, our elections, our elections are illegitimate. They became illegitimate when everybody got a vote. So the guy that has his hand out selling dope, getting food stamps, that mom getting that, you know, the, or the mom getting the welfare cash, you know, the cash benefits and selling dope, living in the house that we pay for if you pay if you pay any kind of taxes, is the one that has an equal vote to the the guy that built a multi-million dollar uh, company from the ground up. No, that's not how it's supposed to be. And there's a, that's the reason it's not supposed to be that way. When you feed the roaches, and I'm just using roaches as an example here. When you feed the roaches at your house, if you don't get rid of the roaches, eventually the roaches overrun your house. And that's what we'll have happen. There's more people with their hand out now than there are there are productive people. There's two options. Socialism, blood. That's it. That's our only option. There's no voting your way out of this one because the Democratic Party now runs the country. And even if there are Republicans in office that are Republicans, they're they're still after the same goal, money and power. It's all illegitimate anyway. Your vote doesn't count. Withdraw your consent. By voting, you consent. So what does that mean? By voting means I accept whatever the outcome of this election is, and whatever, not only that, but whatever the, the, the person that wins does, even if it's not the person I vote for. That's what, that's what voting really means. And uh, I've withdrawn my consent. Fuck them. Fuck the feds. Screw the state too. Fuck them. Mike DeWine's dickhead. It's all downhill from here, guys. It's socialism, blood. One of the two. If you ain't been working out, I mean, you made your choice. You ain't been trying to at least, if you know, halfway don't know how to handle firearms, you've made your choice. There's going to come a day, and hopefully it's in my lifetime. And I say that not that I want war, but I definitely don't want to come into my kids' lifetime because they will lose. Not that my kids will lose. I don't want my kids fighting a war. But my kids my age, imagine how, look how 20-year-olds are now. Think how 13, you know, my kids, 13 and 9, my youngest two boys, how they're going to, how their their you know, age group's going to be. They're going to want to fight. They're going to want freebies. And that's about the time, if you look at Venezuela, that all the freebies will be running now. And they'll be starving. So I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a, a violent person. I don't want, I don't want war. I don't. But I want to be free more than I don't want war. 